What's up? What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Lil Donnie from the Wild Bunch. I just want to give a shout out to all the youth out there. I want y'all to stay strong, stay out of prison, go to school, and, and be the best you could be. Today, I'm going to tell y'all a story about one of a wild time when I was in Rikers Island. You know, I had this got there. I had went through the bullpen, you know, receiving and all of that. And I was on my way to my housing unit. Now, in Rikers Island, for those that know, they got four main, House of Pain. Nobody want to go to four main. Nobody. Four main, House of Pain. Back in 86, you did not want to go up in there if you wasn't about that life. Lucky for me, <laughs> I got sent to six main. But everywhere was the same, you know? It was adolescence, everybody's wild, young, 16, 17, 18. You know, nobody, then nobody's playing no games. Everybody playing for keeps, you know? And that's why I want you, I'm saying these ages because I want you kids at 16, 17, 18 to know it's not, a, it's not no game, you know? We not, it's not no joke. You can be in prison for the rest of your life at 16, 17, 18, never make it back out. Because once you go in a place like Rikers Island, you don't know if you're going to get out. You could go there with 30 days and wind up with 30 years. Like, it's real. And I want y'all to know that. So the story went like this. They didn't care who you was. They don't care what you did on the street. Nobody care. You gotta, everybody got to prove themselves, you know? So coming in the sixth main, you know, this is my first time. You know, I'm shook. I ain't even going front. In the town, I thought I was about that life. So... You know, when you come in somewhere as a new environment, you, you, you know, I ain't got a front. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a grown ass man. I ain't got a front. It was, it was real. You be nervous. Like I said, I was shook. I was like, man, I don't know. You on your own. Ain't no homies to hold you down. Ain't nobody. So when I walk in the gate, cause they got two sides. When you walk in the gate, there's the police bubble right there and the gate to the day room. When you first come in a unit and they lock you and they, you go inside, they close the door. Then there's a door that lead into the unit. But on the side is the dudes in the day room. And they on the gate. Soon as you walk in that middle gate with your little bag, they on there. Oh, let me get them sneakers. Let me get that jewelry. Let me get them pants. Let me get that shirt. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> niggas like, let me get your shirt. Let me get your pants. Let me get... I'm like, what the fuck? These niggas trying to strip me. I ain't even walking the unit yet. God damn. So you know me, you know, I was, I'm, I'm coming from Brownsville, 90, so I got a little hard in me, you know, I'm like, whatever, it's going to be what it's going to be, <laughs> you know what I mean, I got niggas going, I got I to gotta represent, my people is in here, they ain't in this house, but they going to know what happened if I fold, so when I walk through the door, like I said, niggas on the door, like, yo, shorty, let me get them sneakers, you know, I had on a fresh pair or whatever, you know, I was living in the town, so, you know, I had on a fresh pair of Pumas D or something, whatever it was, you know, I was looking good to go. So when the CO opened the door, I go to my cell, he tell me what cell I am, I go on my cell, close my cell, now I'm in there like, damn, I'm on the island, fuck, like, wow, it's getting ready. Out of nowhere, a nigga come stick his face in my gate talking about, yo, shorty, I want them sneakers. Come to the day room. I'm like, what? I'm like, man, get off my gate. I'm not, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I'm. that's that's really how the conversation went. I'm like, man, get off my gate. I don't know what you're talking about. Boom. So I guess he wasn't, he wasn't finished with me. <laughs> he left from right there at the gate, but he was not finished with me. So anyway, I stay inside. I, you know, I locked in because when I came to the unit, it was late. Everybody was locking in. Couple of niggas peek in my window, like, yo, where you from? Uh, you know me, I'm from Brownsville. When you from Brownsville, you be like, I'm from Brownsville. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't even say Brooklyn. <laughs> you don't even say Manhattan, Brooklyn. You say Brownsville, you know? So I'm like, I'm from Brownsville. Whatever. All right. Okay, shorty. All right. So when we get up the next day, I'm, you know, I, I, I figure a way to get some sleep, you know, because the nigga, first day on the island, really in the housing unit, and nigga couldn't sleep. When I got some sleep, I woke up. The first nigga that talking about he taking my sneakers. Hey, this nigga come stepping right to me first thing in the morning. Yo, 
yo, when we go to when you go to commissary, make sure you bring me um, get that bag. Let me get that bag. I'm like, I'm I'm not, you know, I'ma tell a real deal. I'm gonna everybody got a little nerves. So I wasn't already, I wasn't schooled on nothing. I wasn't schooled on I was supposed to punch this nigga in his face from the door door. I didn't know that. I didn't know as soon as he said anything to me, I was supposed to bomb them. So he get away with that. You know what I mean? Cause I'm I don't know. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm in my head, I'm like, I'm not giving up nothing, but whatever, because I ain't got nothing right now. So it ain't to that point. So but in my mind, I'm like, I'm not giving up nothing. So anyway, go in the day room, go to chow. Even though when we go to chow, it's niggas who see me, they know the peeps or whatever. Yo, Lil D, what up, you got? You know, I'm like, yeah, I, right. you know, I feel a little better. I'm seeing certain people who I know from the streets or whatever, niggas know family or whatever. So I'm like, oh, okay. Shit, shit might be, you know, I might get through this shit without having to blaze someone. Nigga blaze me or whatever. So anyway, we go back to the unit. Like I said, it's commissary for the new guys or whatever. They letting you get some cosmetics or whatever you might need. Like, yo, y'all going to go, everyone want to go to commissary? So I'm like, yeah, damn, family getting to go to commissary. Go to commissary, I had a fruit hour, so I bought me some cookies. You know, the regular shit, cookies, toothpaste, so whatever. You know, whatever I felt I needed at the commissary or whatever. I probably spent like $40 or whatever. You know, I ain't, I, I'm like I said, I was new, so I just got a little shit I felt I needed or whatever. So when I come in, this nigga's in the day room. So he, they see the niggas coming in. With your bags and shit. So when you come in, you just go right to your cell, put your shit in the bag, put your shit in the cell, and boom. I go in, I put my stuff in my cell, and I'm just laying in the laying on the bed. I ain't really fucking, I ain't caring nothing about no TV. I'm trying to figure out how the fuck I'm getting out of the Rikers Island or whatever. So anyway, here this nigga come. Yo, bring that bag to the commissary. I mean, bring that bag, bring your bag to the day room. I'm like, man, I don't know what you're talking about. Get off my gate, please, man. Get off my gate. So he slides or he walks off. But now it's 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 time for me. 